path, then you know how painful it is. Have any of you ever had a pet? Imagine how sad you would be if you knew that they were going through something as horrible and painful as animal testing. So I ask you, what are the implications of animal behaviors for scientific and cosmetic testing? Animal testing is detrimental and in inhuman due to many findings predicting the maltreatment of animals during that experiment. Animal testing is a widely debated topic that has many different sides to it. But many sides have proven that animal testing is inaccurate and unnecessary because there are better and more reliable solutions. Animal testing is morally wrong because it is inflicting pain and suffering onto innocent animals that have done nothing to deserve the suffering that they go through constantly. Although animal testing may be the easiest option for scientists and cosmetic companies, it is not always the most reliable. Did you know that 92% of all experimental drugs that are safe and effective in animal testing fail in human clinical trials because they are too dangerous or don't work? This graph shows how the moral acceptance of medical testing on animals has declined throughout the years, and more people consider it morally wrong. This shows how people's thoughts on this topic have changed as time went on. Since many people believe animal testing is wrong, the UK has started to decrease their use of animal testing in this graph. It shows how over the past years, their use of animal testing has declined. The UK completely banned tobacco, cosmetic, and household testing on animals to hopefully make a positive impact. One solution to end animal testing would be to replace the animals with human cells or tissue, also known as the vitro method. This would be a cheaper and faster solution, as well as more reliable. But one pro, one pro to this is that it's more accurate than animal testing, and one con is that the resources are harder to find. Computer simulation is a way to end animal testing because it will provide a new way to look into biology without harming animals or humans. It will create a human-like simulation of the cells to test on and receive the best results possible. Cons of the computer simulation are, if one of the chips malfunctions, results will be inconclusive and could be dangerous. The computer simulations will also cost a great amount of money and will be very hard to collect. People could also stop buying from animal tested products. If everyone as a whole could either stop buying or using from companies that test on animals, what potentially could happen is companies will hopefully stop testing on animals or either go out of business. You could boycott the products that use animal testing and use the cruelty-free products. If people start using cruelty-free products, it will hopefully make other companies do the same so that they can end up getting more companies and customers and it will decrease the use of animal, animal product testing. For example, Kylie Jenner products are cruelty free and since it is such a top, popular company, she can use her social media platform to influence other customers to go cruelty free and if more and more big influence like her do the same, then it will make a huge change. Our final solution is protozoa. Protozoa is a single-celled organism that is, has a similar metabolism to animals, but aren't classified as animals. Some limitations to protozoa include that so far it has only been used for mascara, but it will soon be able to be used for other makeup and fragrances. But protozoa cannot help monkeys from being biomedical tested on. Some protozoa. Some pros of protozoa include that it can save many animals from being tested on and it is a cheap alternative to animal testing. Cons include that it causes many diseases and is an essential component in the marine food web where it is eaten by zooplankton and it also helps in the marine life decaying process. Animals such as rats, snakes, and bunnies are tested on every day and can cause an upset in the food chain. When the rats are extracted from the environment, it causes snakes to have a decline in food, which causes their populations to decrease. Rats have a huge impact on tree growth throughout the world. They carry parasites and nutrients and leave them to give the trees nourishment. This is important to our ecosystem because trees provide 25% of our oxygen. Due to how scientists and companies dispose of test animals, pollution of the chemicals seeps into the air and environment and causes sickness to humans. Many cases have been documented of cancer and different diseases collected from lab chemicals. This is important to humans because they are also being affected by the animal testing. Therefore, people should use their voices to change and get rid of the testing. If not, companies and labs will continue to harm animals and use chemicals that harm human beings.
Philosophers think animal testing is wrong because animals have similar physiological and psychological traits to humans. Animals have consciences and are living, breathing creatures. Most animal testing brings pain and discomfort to animals along with harming them. Over 300,000 animals die each year in China alone due to cosmetic testing. This is what happens to rabbits' eyes when mascara is applied to them and can cause them to go blind. Would it be wrong to use a non-consenting human to be tested on? A majority of people would say yes. So why is it okay for a non-consenting animal to be tested on? Monkeys share 98% of our DNA with humans, which makes them even more morally valued. Monkeys aren't tested on with makeup, but they are tested on psychologically and used for biomedical research. So is animal testing worth it? Animal testing is harmful psychologically and physiologically. Animal testing causes a decrease in the animal population and in the future it may cause a population to go extinct. Animal testing is also bad for the environmental ecosystems, taking out other animals' prey. And for philosophers, animal testing is ethically wrong. So we're excited, we're excited.